Hello, and welcome to Total Conflict Resistance. Some of you may actually recognize this game, and uh, some of you might, hopefully nobody will recognize it from uh, my channel, because the first two videos that I posted of this had pretty good audio, but that, that was it. it, it was glitched. Um, speaking of which, just check it right now. All right. So we are actually recording. Good, good, good. Um, I'm gonna just pretty much start off from what I was doing. It's about four hours. I'll go ahead and I'll show off how far I got. How far we should have gotten. We'll just go ahead and load it up here. So this game is a lot like what's it called? Mountain Blade with a mix of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare and Total War, various other things like that. Um, yeah, it's just pretty fun, and it's pretty not revolutionary, but it's the first to really do it with vehicles and in this way that I've noticed. So far, what we've got set up here, let me just explain it real quick. So all these buttons down in the bottom, you will notice that right click is basically your back button. It works the same as escape. A little bit annoying sometimes, really hard to get used to, but um, it's not game breaking. <laughs> we've got save, because you can save your games and they will automatically save confirm action I believe when you click confirm action or the enter button that will start the next game you can also press space delete will sell your squad for half the points over here so if I were to sell my saboteurs or the spec up saboteurs they are for 175 points if I were to buy them. So if I were to sell them, I'd probably get something like 90, 85 points, something like that. Um, one of the biggest pet peeves I have about this game right now, mind you, this game is an early access, so it's pretty nice. It's a bit slog. As far as, like, if you don't have a really good system, it is really heavy on your CPU. But one of my biggest drawbacks about this game here is the fact that all of these vehicle crews... Oh, I might have to take that back. Most of these vehicle crews only had militiamen in it. We will have to... It looks like it changed. Something changed. I think it has to do with the... Um, the amount of forces you currently have. So as you can see, we've had these flipping M113s forever. We've had some of these strikers forever. Most of these tank strikers are new. Because they're new. Um... We have regular troopers with them. But we have this silly little button called rearm. It says insufficient funds because basically rearming does one of two things. After you fight this battle, in arcade mode, after you fight the battle, rearming your division or your uh, battalion 
will just simply give them replenish their ammo and fill up the men slots and make sure they have full ammo. If you click it again after you buy a new squad, it will then do things like give certain members scopes and optics. It will give certain members RPGs and anti-tank weapons. Well, RPG is the only anti-tank weapon. It's my second pet peeve right now. Um, again, these are pet peeves that are like minute. But uh, I guess my first pet peeve isn't even a pet peeve anymore because I just didn't know how that system worked. Last time I played this game, most ooh special forces in these tanks. Nice. Anyways. Last time I played these ga this game, I found out that regulars and militia don't do too big of a difference, and Spec Ops does not, it's not too big of a difference from normal regular troops, so I didn't really buy anything more. I stuck with this weird, weird thing where I only did regular assault, regulars, with some regular snipers, and a bunch of militia AT men. And I didn't go to, for spec I unlocked spec ops, but I didn't really buy them because I didn't feel any difference between them. Ooh. Personally. Personally. I would like to sell these two. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see it, it gets kind of weird when you start selling things and buying things, but it's not too hard to re... Equip them. There we go. Two LAVs. I want to see what these things do. Meantime. I'm probably never going to see these vehicles. I have yet to actually see, like I said, a lot of these vehicles. I have yet to actually have, like, these vehicles get issued. These vehicles get issued. This vehicle has yet to actually get into battle. Just see how many of these have been recruited under my militia phase so yeah you can click this button down here manufacturing adaptation fancy word for upgrades slash research so you get research points right here and you use them for manufacturing adaptations basically just upgrades And you get to upgrade your soldiers from militia units, which really just use shotguns and submachine guns. Whatever the, you have like special forces militia units. These guys are cool. Flipping saboteurs. I love saboteurs. Um, really, the difference between these levels is like how the AI acts, uh, their morale how willing they are to fight are they going to retreat after seven guys die or are they going to retreat after all but one guy dies like that type of stuff um and really body armor kind of plays a role into it i've noticed that militiamen don't have body armor so they kind of just die really easily whereas regulars and the special forces have body armor so they stay in the fight a bit longer with more than just morale, but like also kind of health. So we have the elites, and then you have the vehicle trees. The vehicle tree is a lot more simplified than what it was when I first started playing, but um, mind you, this is the arcade mode, so it's different when we get into a campaign, like the actual campaign, but it's been simplified into a bit of APCs, and then this is like a not up armored APC. So like APCs and IFVs. Um, 
they just got machine guns on them. They are not too powerful against other vehicles. You got this guy right here. It's a striker. Like, these two are strikers. Um, personally, my personal experience, the M1126 is, like, more effective than an M113. Not super more effective, but it's more effective. Because it provides more protection and has more armor, which is an actual variable in this game. So, like, it actually matters. Because some of these vehicles have, like, 30 mils. And some of them only have, like, a 50 cal. So, a 50 cal won't be able to pierce some of these. They won't actually take that much damage. Whereas, like, 50 cals will destroy all of these over here. But 50 cals don't do damage. So, they... Don't do as much damage to these, so these actually will survive a bit. However, the M1128 with the with the cannon on it, I have yet to see this thing actually destroy anything or do anything but die. It just seems to just be very killable. I don't know why. I don't know how. Every single one that I've had just dies when it gets into battle. These actually survive. These don't. And the purpose of these is to help against vehicles. So I don't. I don't know what would be going on because technically these should be dying more because they're not supposed to go up against vehicles. But I guess these just are very vulnerable to infantry units. So they just get wiped out. I don't know what to do with these. This is a Bradley if I'm not mistaken. This is like two different French vehicles if I'm not mistaken. And then we have a Comet. I'm going to try to unlock a Comet. And then we're going to try to get into some tanks. Because we really need anti-vehicle anti units. Um, although, these IS-152s are working really nice. It's really fun. Is you notice that these aren't even... These, these vehicles here. Is, um, yeah, the BMP-3. These aren't in our tech tree. Because there's like three different tech trees. And the main two are the communist and the democratic. We are a democratic nation going up against a communist nation. In this arcade mode, you go through levels, which is basically just a fight. Um, you either attack, defend, or you're both attacking, or you're both defending. And it gets kind of weird. But um, after each fight, if you don't blow up the vehicles, you actually can capture these vehicles. So, as you can see, a lot of our vehicles are captured vehicles, and these are actually really effective vehicles, so we've just kept them. Um, AT units, they're alright, they're not that effective, unfortunately. I would love for them to be super effective, but they're just not that effective. They're more effective in this update, but they're not as effective as the enemy AT units, which I believe is the thing that's killing most of these, uh, 1128, so. Yeah, without further ado, I'll go ahead and start it. Now, the game does look pretty choppy and bad graphics, but this is running on a laptop, mind you. I'm recording on a laptop. <laughs> and uh, this is with everything turned down. And this is what the game looks like. And honestly, it reminds me of Mountain Blade, the original Mountain Blade. Which is impressive to me. We're getting shot at already. So let's move up our vehicles. Things can go from 0 to 100 really quick, so it's best to set things up quickly. I don't like that we spawn all the way back here. Let's get that vehicle into there. Let's get a second, our second vehicle. Up over here. Let's get 
third squad moving into this building. Let's just see if we can rush into these buildings. I've noticed that if you can get your soldiers into a building, nine times out of ten they will be more survivable, like they won't die as much. That being said, that's not always true. You can press tab for to control all of your units. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, hey, give me one of these guys. Tell them to follow me. Tell them that they can stand up, which is the X button. And let's get into this. <laughs> It's going to go probably 0 to 100 because I feel like it's one of these maps here. Where everything's really quiet. You can't see the enemy. You don't know what's going on. And all of a sudden, a lot of boom booms, a lot of bangs. It feels really, reali it feels really realistic too because you're like, you can hear the battle in the background. You don't see the enemy, but you can hear the bullets whizzing by you and where they're landing and the chaos of a battle. Crunchy, crunchy potato chips. All right. You can also turn off highlighting, like if this highlighting brings you out of like the immersion. Oh, we're already starting, alright. I think it's display, right? Brightness, lock, FPS. I think it's in graphics. Never mind, I'm done. What is wrong with me? Oh, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> Highlight the enemy. On hover. Always. Or off. So if it disables your immersion, if you get frustrated that you can't see the enemy, but the enemy can see you, you don't feel like that's fair. You can change it. Alright, so BMP is flipping, opening up the fight here. Uh, friendly fire is on. Be very careful. Who's losing people right now? Oh, the people that are like trying to charge up. Oh, oh, we're getting shot at. Where from? I don't know, but we're going to go over here. I do want to move up. You can hear the whizzing of the bullets. There we go. Dang. Oh, 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 they're right there. The enemies tend to be a little dopey, but then again, I'm only on regular and usually easy, easy and regular because of, owie, hopefully that was a grenade, nope, not a grenade, that's for sure. I think we lost all of uh, first squad. 
Yeah, first squad's retreating right now. I'm pretty sure that's what's left of them. Um, let me go ahead and get up the new saboteurs to a reasonable. Let's see if we can get them in that building. I don't know where this enemy is. He's like over here, right? That's where he shot me from. Yeah, that's him right there. Let's see if we can uh, smoke. The gas actually works in the sense that I'm pretty sure you can't target the enemy behind yeah, gas. So hopefully that works. And I feel like that barrel just aimed at me. So I'm going to hide over here. Am I, am I squad too? I'm pretty sure I'm squad two right now. Let me go ahead, get one of these guys. That's an enemy. Why are you just standing here? What is going on? The enemy has moved up. I'm pretty sure this is the enemy saboteurs. They're not too bad. What is that? Friendlies. Are you trying to retreat? What's going on here? What is that? Friendly. So they are trying to come in on this flank over here as well. What are you guys shooting at? So both of our vehicles are still up and running. I'm getting shot at from some type of where. Bet on a higher definition, you're more likely to see the enemy. I'm a certain, but um, I thought I saw him. I don't really care about seeing the enemy right now. I'm just trying to get out of here this is not a very safe position to be in I see enemy right there I was about to say that looks like an enemy right there that's another one is it standing no. Is that the BMP just moving up through? Is that our BMP? Okay. <laughs> I was going to be very scared if that was enemy BMP because uh, <laughs> I don't have any response to that. So you see how far back they spawned us. Did we ever destroy that um, enemy tank? In case if we didn't, because I just realized I'm walking right up on the enemy. Is it burnt to a crisp yet? Hold on. You know, that feeling when you lose a spider... Alright. Alright, I'll go get a cup, and then you get a cup, and it's gone. I think, I think that's it. I think, I think I feel better now. I don't feel like I'm in immediate danger anymore. Okay. Get my brain out of lag mode then. So it looks like we've, def we've uh, found a perimeter. That we can uh, hold ish. Oh my goodness, there's definitely enemy all around us. 
it would help if I probably used a door, but I'm scared to use a door right about now. Is this open? Friendly? I think that's friendly. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got friendlies here. I am so glad I have a tank on my team and that it's in a better position and it's more skilled apparently than any enemy tank because we'd be getting it right now. We would be getting it right now. Get y'all butts like here, I guess. I don't know. Urban warfare is terrifying. Like Call of Duty kind of shows you, but Urban Warfare is terrifying. That's an enemy tank somewhere. I'm definitely being shot at from something not friendly. Oh, it's probably on my right or something. Ah! Yes, hello. I don't think the enemy likes me existing right about now. Owie! Just got shot by something. I think that was a grenade, actually. Dude! This dude just got eviscerated, man! I don't know if dude's doing alright. Sometimes your units just straight up won't follow orders, like, you will often find one to three guys that just never moved. So as you can see, these uh, tanks that we have, because they're in a good position, they're not too exposed and they're able to just wreak havoc on whatever they want. I've been super effective for us. That being said, let's see if we can move up our tanks a bit. Move it that way. Is it one? I'm trying to tell you to move up and you move backwards. Like, that makes a whole lot of sense, buddy. Goodness gracious. Personally, I just want you to move that way. Sometimes the enemy won't die in one hit. Sometimes you can get a good position though where the enemy just point, click, and enemy gone.
That's unfortunate. Oh, they have SKSs. That's pretty nice. I don't want to be in a vehicle. I hate being in vehicles. They know how to run, that's for sure. Would you? As you can see, we have units here because they were in buildings, more or less. That's really all it came down to. As you can also see, the enemy is taking heavy losses trying to push up. That's what I like to see. Do we still have all of our vehicles? We lost a vehicle. We lost a vehicle. Um, where? I do not know. It wasn't number one, so I'm guessing it was the one that's supposed to be, like, in the middle of the... Throw another one in here. Let's try to keep some dominance in this region. It is possible to hear enemy footsteps as well, but I have to turn that up way loud, and at that point, y'all are going to hear it. For sure. I don't feel like that's appropriate to leave it up that loud. Oh, hello there. God bless. It is entirely possible to just be taken out with a single bullet. Do not forget that. He is an ASVL? It's not flipping. I really hope that's a regular. Because if they have. Goodness gracious, what is this? What are all these people standing around for? Who are you? You. You number eight? Number eight? I don't know who you guys are. Six? About five. Five, follow me. So as you can see, even though I didn't tell my guys to crouch, they will automatically crouch and lay down themselves, which is pretty nice. So let's see, they're at 240. Alright. They should retreat around 30 to 40 soldiers. So we're almost there. At kind of heavy losses, but uh, we're making the enemy pay. Oh? Where the hell did that come from? That's alarming. Speaking of which, where is number seven? Number seven's already up there. I don't care about number seven. Who who are you? You're supposed to move all the way up there by now. I'm I'm pretty sure I told you like go on like the far flank, bro. Alright, the enemy surrendered. It doesn't matter. Vehicles lost. We only lost one vehicle. And we gained two. That's That happens quite a bit, honestly. We don't need more vehicles. As you can see, 
or as you could see, those uh, the vehicles are really good at shutting down an area, but they're not good at like pushing up. They're not good at like, because I told a vehicle to push up. It was in the area. It held down the area for a while. But without infantry support, the vehicles will get just rocket launchered and then die. So also we can see if we click rearm once, it will use up command resources and supply to re-up the numbers and ammunition. So if I click it again, we rearmed six more squads. Which squads and what? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it just adds on um, optics and what's it called? Optics and grenade launchers to random units. So some of these units had grenade launchers. Some of these guys had grenade launchers. But by default, the only people who have RPGs are the AT units. When they say AT on him, it's the only units that by default actually have rocket launchers on them all the time. Let's go ahead. I I'm Honestly, I'm going to get rid of all of these strikers. Like I've said before, maybe not all of them, all of them. But like I've said before, they don't they don't do anything. For all the time that I've had them, we took heavy losses that time. Usually at least two or three will survive from each squad, but we took heavy, heavy losses. Alright, let's see. Assault, 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 assault. That's one, that's two. One more, one more, yeah? One more. Ja, there you go. I don't want this to be set up. I want two sixes, maybe? No, I like BM BMD 2 M's. These are IFVs, but they're airborne IFVs, so they're really, really light. Like, it takes a lot to make these things, these vehicles, light enough to get dropped in, so. They're extremely light. I don't imagine they have much of any armor. But they do have a fair bit of health. These do. And then these IS-52s, uh, they have a lot, well, I won't say a lot more armor. They have a bit more armor. They take two RPG hits. And everything else here only takes one. Just to give you an idea. Oh, we also have BTR. Yeah, like, the first three squads are still using communist equipment, because we just keep on capturing it. There's no reason not to, honestly. What are they going to do? Complain? Get angry? So now we have our first actual tank. Um, with an actual gun, like, big gun on it. It seems like... I mean, historically speaking, in, in real life, the Striker does have variants with bigger guns on it than the Comet. The Comet is a really, really, really light vehicle. However, the Comet has an actual cannon on it, and it's also actually armored a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit more heavy air than the uh, striker because it's an actual tank so let's see make sure you always rearm after you buy units because they will rearm and 
Again, what they do, I don't know, but they, they get stuff. They they get they get new stuff. So we see these actually have militiamen with them. These have regulars for some weird reason. Instead of spec ops, and I only say weird because these guys have spec ops. I don't know why they are regular, but um, no. Let's go ahead and throw down for another battle here. That's not the battle button, is it? Oh no. So, I get scared. One of two really... One of two things can happen. One, you're gonna stomp the enemy. Or two, you're gonna get stomped by the enemy. Nine times out of ten, that will be determined by either the map or the squads you have on hand. Are these... Okay, these are the normal guys. Let's try to get you... Oh boy. This one might hurt. Um... Get you on the woods. That's more likely to survive, I guess. Everyone jump out. So we can see some guys have actual weapons on them. That doesn't usually happen. RPGs. So I'm guessing these guys got rearmed with an RPG on RPGs outside of AT units are very rare, but sometimes a lifesaver. So try to make sure you rearm your units. They don't cost any command resources, but they do cost, uh, what's the button? I want this guy on the open side. Overlooking stuff. Get over here. Who's number five? I don't see enemy vehicles anywhere. But if I had to guess, they'd be coming in from this angle as well. Number one. Now they're gonna go on the road. And crossing roads can be actually deadly. Like, just like in real life. Crossing roads is pretty bad. You don't really want to do it or take too long time. Too long of a time doing it. In this game, a road can be basically just like a shooting range for the enemy. Okay, well, oh. Well, those guys started. I was really worried that we just, like, lost people immediately. Is that a...
Everything is blowing up. I don't feel safe. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah, the grenade, the grenade, the grenade. We are we number two? No, number two got flipping wiped. Ow! Flipping friendly fire, bro. I swear. Ah! Oh, okay. That's an enemy tank. I would like to. Not have to deal with that, yeah? Can, can I have the guy that has the rocket launcher? Ooh, we actually got some return fire on us. I don't quite know where from. Yeah, this is the chaos I was talking about earlier. It's probably going to take a couple shots. Well, that's if it's around. I mean, if it decides to take a vacation instead, it's going to make my life a lot more complicated, to be fairly honest. This usually doesn't happen, but it is actually a terrifying feeling. Like, where did that spider go? Except instead of a spider, you know, it's a tank with a giant cannon on it that's been killing a bunch of soldiers. 
could kill you at any second, and it's probably going to kill more of your men every second that it's not destroyed. So, um, not too sure if I would compare that to a spider. Have we destroyed four tanks with that flippin'... This is what I mean, make sure you place your flippin' things in good places. Nope. Oh, there it is. Where is it? One more, 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 one more. I don't think I got it. They got multiple tanks out right now. They got some advanced tanks too. I don't want to be in the tank. That's how you flip and kill your, my men, bro. Stop doing that. Alright, let's move our tank. Our real tank. Up a little bit. So it can be a bit more accurate. move that tank over there let's move one tank into like directly contest them a bit and let's see what I can get my hands on real quick as far as rocket launchers go let's make sure it's loaded I'm definitely going to get shot at. Nice, I think they just killed that one tank. Friendly fire is on for both sides, by the way. Suppression works to a degree. You can make the enemy run away and duck. But it won't necessarily stop them from shooting. Sometimes you manually have to guard your vehicles. The enemy will crawl up, and if they crawl up too close and one of them has a rocket launcher, that's just game over for that vehicle. And if you don't have any vehicles and the enemy has vehicles, it could very well mean game over for you in general. Although that's a lot less likely because RPGs are not impossible to find. As long as you set it up properly. Ow, 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 ow. Which one of you suckers did that? You. Love it. They're definitely trying to move up here. They are moving up, period.
There you go. You see him running away? Only have 25 HP left. We're losing about equal numbers. The good news about that is that we have more numbers to spare than they do, so... Siege Warfare will not work in their favor. Ah! Bandur! 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 Hello, friend! Oh, I'm so lucky I had a flippin' rocket launcher with a grenade in it. That could've went south so quick. <laughs> Oh, that could have went south so quick. He was rolling right up on our flipping artillery piece. <laughs> yeah, standing out in the open, not too smart of me. There's another tank. Indeed there is. Where are you guys? You just wanna move up? Jaws go over here to defend that tank. All right, let's see. That might not be enough. We might need you to back up. There is two vehicles. Oh no. Yeah, you can hear the chaos from here. Is that? Okay, that's special forces. Make sure you have a flipping rocket loaded. I feel like they just blew up that flipping thing that I wanted. It's best to move. It's best to move. It is best to move instead of standing still, buddy. That works. Ow, ow, ow. Less than optimal. Less than optimal. Take that grenade.
There's definitely another flipping IFV around. Dude, you cannot aim. I am being overrun right now. I have friendlies all around me though, so I should be fine for now. That's another flipping friendly tank down. Yeah, that's what I call friendly fire, buddy. God bless. We've lost almost a hundred. They've lost a little over a hundred. All right. Um, I don't know how I got here, but I'll take it. Well, I've hit him a few times. Is that the friendly vehicle? All right. Is this number four? Alright, you did dismount all of your units. I would want you on this side, though. Did I get him? 
Hallelujah. That was not friendly, was it? Ow. Yeah, probably should have went somewhere else. here you guys are gonna get our entire you guys are gonna make this entire operation go bad y'all know that right Like that. Where's the enemy tank? Literally, like right there. Oh, they surrendered. Oh my goodness. We had to destroy so many tanks. We still captured two T 64s. That is insane, man. But we lost two other tanks. Yeah, we didn't, we're not able to recover them either. Let's see how one of these goes. Man, we lost so much. I really want to know how these three work. Let's see. Okay. I got an idea. First, we need our saboteurs. Then I do want to see if we can get better tanks. I forget what was down this line. Ah. Uh, oh. Hmm. Well, that's a trick question, because there really is no better tank to get. Alright, the M60A1, I guess. And it should be better than the T64. I kind of want to get rid of them. Let's see. Too much stuck off assaults. And then two more Spec Ops AT units. AT, AT, Assault, Assault. 
All right, let's see. What do we have here? I would like to actually get one soonish there. Want to see them in battle, and then I want to get rid of this one. And then when the cavalry arrives, <laughs> we're gonna see what this darn T sixty four is all about. Eight squads we are under as army. Cool. Bunch of command resources, so we don't have to worry about running out or quite yet. I feel like if we start buying a bunch of tanks, though, we will start to run out. But then again, we are capturing a lot of equipment. We're, catch we're capturing equipment almost as much as we're losing it. Let's just check the time. My bad. Let's do one last battle, and we'll test out this uh, T-64, who's got special forces in there, so special forces supporting it means it should not die quickly. Regulars, regulars, militia, regulars, regulars, militia, regulars, regulars again, militia, alright. Let's go ahead and start this game. Oh, I don't know if I'm defending or not. If we're defending, this is going to be in the bad. Of course we're not defending. Maybe I should just, you know, pay attention and read what's going on beforehand. Oh, this is a fun but also costly map. So it's fun because it's really easy to hold and push. You basically just move house by house. That is literally the trick to this map. Move house to house. Um, go ahead, JL. I want you to cover a flank for us. Cover the infantry coming from. You can see the terrain on this. Look over there. Number four. All right. I can hear that things already are popping off. So let's see if we can get to our target without dying immediately. Because once we start adding tanks to the mix, chaos is exponential. Are they already getting shot? Is the enemy just over the horizon over here? They are right over the horizon. Let's move. Get into these buildings now. We already are losing men. What are you running? I'm not running from the battle. Relax. I'm running inside of a house. I told everybody else to get inside of a house. They haven't done it yet because they're a little slow. This is the safest way to fight here. Turn something from fighting in no cover to fighting. That's a whole ass vehicle. Why am I shooting on a vehicle? That's a sure way to die.
I like how they just friendly fired the heck out of that. So, um... Shoot, bro, I don't know what to do here. Alright, I'm gonna move to this house across from me. If I can. I probably will die before I get there. I thought the enemy would be rushing this way. But they're just targeting the main force of our army. Basically spawn camping us. Already told y'all what to do. I think I already told everybody what to do by now. Without any RPGs, I really can't do anything. J out. Can I get you to any good area? So they have not been able to push out of their area, and we're not able to really push out of our area either. So it's kind of locked right now. Nice. No movement. This is what being inside of a house allows you to do. You get to be cheesy, sit back, relax while the enemy does all the dumb stuff. Cheese Louise. Um, this house is not a good position either, to be fairly honest. It's not a bad position. It's just not good. There's no reason for me to be out here, but, you know, why not? Is this our vehicle? It was. There is so much explosions. Where is our striker? I'm going to have to move you up. Nice.
We have lost so much infantry, though. Why would I push up? That's another grenade. Boy, do I hate grenades. Goodness gracious. Maybe I should tell my friendlies to move up with us. Don't put me inside of a tank, buffoons. Let's make a tank line real quick. We seem to be able to keep a fair amount of vehicles. Where is number six at? Let's get them moving up. Where's number four at? It's suicide to send anybody out here. But it kind of has to be done right now. Where are they coming from? If they're coming in from that angle, send them in over here. There's a tank behind you? Are you aware of this tank behind you, sir? There is tanks everywhere. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if we can do this, yeah? Well, I have to maintain flip and target first. Oh, my goodness. That's why I don't like controlling tanks. It does not lead to good things, honestly. They're not even there yet. Oh, my goodness. Left flank, is it? Hold on real quick. We need to redeploy to a better position. Is there tanks down here? That is indeed an enemy tank. Hold on a minute. 
we're probably gonna die from this, but stabilize. Dang, bro. Those are artillery pieces. Why do they have so many tanks? I don't understand. I think they just completely armored and mechanized their dire force. Oh yeah, those are artillery pieces. Alright, we gotta move up. We can't actually let them Alright, we gotta we gotta have you guys move that way. Matter of fact, let's see what you're made of. Flanking maneuvers go. Oh, oh my goodness, I, you could not tell from this battle at all, from any angle whatsoever. We were winning, actually. Holy crap. That entire time I felt like I was losing. Yeah, we did just bleed them out. Again, we just have more soldiers, so we can just attrition the living daylights out of them. Goodness gracious, that comes at a high cost, though. I mean, but compared to them, honestly, less than them. But still, is that something I would want to do? No. What in the world? They have... They are all the way up there. They are all the way up there, aren't they? They went straight for their tanks. We're not seeing too many special forces, but we are definitely seeing their armored units move in. Not too sure how I feel about that. Um, from what I notice, these guys are really good. They don't die immediately. This is an artillery piece. I want this to actually be moved in. Instead of... Assault units, I guess. I want this moved in almost immediately. This is really important. With that, we'll go ahead and we'll set up how we want this military to function real quick. I think we can get rid of the AT. If we have a tank, we can afford to move down the AT units because we have tanks. So you don't need AT units if you have tanks. I proved that by controlling tanks myself. I might not be able to just rely on the AI to take care of enemy vehicles for me, but having vehicles or means that I have the possibility and the ability to control them myself. This thing is kind of bad. I've noticed it does work. It does work. But it's kind of just bad. This thing needs to be moved in soon. Comets are pretty bad, too. The comets do the work of an M11-28, but they don't hold troops, and it feels like they're a bit less armored. 
they're 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 almost the same thing except it doesn't hold soldiers in it. So you don't have to worry about making soldiers get out. And it also has a lower profile. So it's technically a lot harder to shoot at. So it technically survives longer. But yeah, I don't I don't like them. <laughs> um I want to get rid of them relatively soon. So yeah, instead of the AT, we'll have this. We'll have one of these. This with common. Now we have too many tanks. Like tank tanks. We have too many tanks. Um. Part of the cavalry. So we have you're part of the cavalry. What are you doing? Give me an assault unit. Yeah, you go. Part of the cavalry. One big tank. Machine gun. Smaller tank. Big tank. These M60A1s are equivalent to the M62s, I believe, or T62s, or T64s. It seems like the T64 is supposed to be... Nope, I lied. Yeah, the T62, I would want to go first. Jeez Louise, we lost a lot. Then again, these are all manned by militia. This is all still manned by regulars. The T-64 is manned by special forces. I don't know why there's only regulars here. I guess it's supposed to be like one down from what you are. I don't know. Um... Do know we need more soldiers if we want to keep the upper hand in this whole. We don't need that. Delete that one. Four, five assault. 480. 5 assault. 5 saboteurs. Saboteur. Assault. AT unit. There we go. Now we can have them dish out real power. Yeah, so if the enemy is going to respond to our special forces with tanks, we might want to respond with tanks in kind. Honestly, we just don't have the uh, research to do so at the moment, but we totally could just respawn with more tanks of our own because we're capturing less and less tanks in losing more and more. That being said, we, we have plenty of command resources still, and we are never running a deficit. Um, but, you know, 
might be more efficient to have tanks. I just feel like the friendly tanks are not doing as much damage as the enemy tanks are until I pilot them. But I also don't like piloting them because the AI is like five times better at hitting your tanks than your AI is good at hitting enemy tanks. So, that's it for today. This is episode one, which should be like episode four, but, you know, shenanigans. Throw a like if you like the content, and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe for more.